Uh, for our project, we did a rotating uh, turret for a paintball gun. You can't really see it, but there's a shaft that is mounted on this base that goes down through the, the uh, into the box. And then the actual box, we mounted a, a DC motor and uh, then used uh, gear and belt drive. On we put a gear on the motor and then a gear on uh, this to make it rotate, and we had to step the motor down uh, two to one. Uh, to make this rotate a little bit slower. Uh, we then ran all the wires down through the middle of the shaft so that when it is turning, the wires don't get tangled up. And we ran, this is the airline uh, CO2 canister and the battery are mounted in the box. Uh, this is the CO2 line that goes into the gun. Uh, it rotates on this axis here. And then we used a simple little camshaft on a DC motor that when it spins, it uh, it pulls the trigger back and that fires it. And then we also use a DC motor uh, for the front and then use the spring to make it always pull up. And then we can pull it down to control the height. Anyway, this is our control box. Let's see here a little. We've got a LCD screen, seven segment array that uh, is our shot counter. The center is a buzzer, which we disconnected as the buzzer is connected to a motion sensor on the front. As, as we'll be standing on that side, it would be going off constantly. Uh, we've got motion switches, a bank of LED indicators to uh, provide various... Of, uh, it tells us the state of various things in the bars. Uh, safety switch, firing button. Uh, when you boot it up, it prompts for a security code. We've got a keypad on the front here. The factory code says that it gets stored in the EEPROM. When we punch in the code, it reads it out of the EEPROM for comparison, and then when we input a new code, it stores that code into the EEPROM. Now, we've got a uh, motion in multiple axes here. We can take it up, down, side to side at the same time, and fire at the same time without problem. If you press the button, it goes around one time. We don't have it hooked up to the CO2. Uh, when it goes down, it just provides tension on the wire, so pulling against the spring, and then well, let's go back up. The spring just pulls it back to uh, its neutral position. Um, basically, we're running off of a 12 volt battery um, that provides 8 amp hours, um, three breadboards. Um, two of the breadboards are attached together that are run off of 5 volt regulators. Uh, to keep from frying the components, and we left an entire separate breadboard to run all of the H bridges uh, with the higher voltage and amperage running through it.